Hi everyone. Today I'm working on the lower portion of a china cabinet I purchased at my local Salvation Army store. It's a very large piece. The bottom portion measures 6 feet wide, 30 inches high, and um, 19 and a half inches depth. Uh, the top portion is 48 inches high and 63 and a half wide. So this sat at the Salvation Army store for quite some time. As you see there, they were asking $129.99 for it. And what they generally do is they decrease the prices on the furniture pieces each week. So I just waited them out. I knew that no one would want to deal with something that large. And I was looking for a piece to use as an entertainment and storage center in my den. And this was it. So I'm just showing you now the many compartments that it has. Really um, nice piece made of solid wood. It was somewhat heavy, the bottom portion that is. The top wasn't that bad. And these clothes are to die for. So now in terms of getting this ready for painting, you could manually sand this or you could use a sander like I'm showing you here. I think I used um, 180 grit paper because I just wanted to lightly sand it, um, get the sheen off. You have the option to also use a deglosser and um, you basically just wipe that on and rub the gloss off but you also have to wear protective gloves so that's me just sanding um, the sanding went rather quickly uh, and i think that's simply because i wasn't trying to get it you know all the way down i wasn't trying to get the color out altogether. i just wanted to get the gloss off so i could put the paint on So this is me doing um, using the, uh, the the glosser on the doors. I have to say that I much prefer sanding. I feel like I have to rub really hard when I'm using the, the glosser. Now after you have sand, you will need tack cloth, and tack cloth is what you use to remove whatever residue that's left over from sanding because you don't want to have that, you know, showing in your paint. So once I did that, I moved the piece inside. I'm in the northeast, so it's very cold outside now. I moved it into the basement and um, used the tack cloth to get all the residue off of it. So you, you see there, it gets a lot off. This is the paint I'm using. I normally use semi-gloss, but I just wanted to go with a regular satin finish. And I generally use a um, foam roller to paint furniture. I find I get a very smooth finish. So on with the painting, I think I did five coats, but they were not heavy coats and there is not a lot of surface to paint. So this wasn't really difficult. The difficulty was just me waiting in between coats. So what I would do each evening I came home from work, I would just run downstairs and put on a, a coat because um, I wanted it to make sure it dried really well. Now I didn't paint the inside portion. I'll show you what I, I, I do with that later. Then to kind of put um, add some interest, I painted the frame around the drawers and doors with a gold acrylic paint. This is just the paint you get at Michael in the bottles. Then I moved on to the doors and drawers and that was, you know, that took quite some time because there were six doors and three drawers. And I also gave those um, four, four or five coats. For the inside, I simply use contact paper because if you painted it white, if it gets messed up, then you are gonna have to clean it off or put another coat on. So I generally put contact paper on the inside of furniture pieces that I work on. So that's it after. I didn't put it in the middle section because I'm putting back one of the drawers at the bottom and then on the top is where I'm going to put the um, um, the paper box, etc. Then I moved on to the pulls. I wanted them gold to match the gold that I am um, painting around the frame of the doors and drawers. Um, spray those with um, gold spray paint. I think it's a Rust-Oleum brand I use. And this is the finished product, guys. Overall cost, I 
I technically bought this piece for $12.50. The gallon of paint was $28 and I have more than half left. The acrylic paint I had for a few years actually and I think I got that for less than $3. Spray paint is what I always have because I use it a lot in some of my projects. So, a lot of bang for very few bucks. Guys, please don't give up on thrift stores. You can get a really good look for a little bit of money. Bye now. Thanks for watching.